Hello, my name is Jesus Ramirez and I am part of the technical staff of Awesome Engineering. Today I am going to show you how to transfer a thermal field from ANSYS student to ANSYS mechanical. For doing that, I am going to start with this geometry. Then if you see here, then I have the solid geometry, right? Uh, it's this one, right? It's a very simple arrangement of pipes, right? And I have the, the fluid part, that is the one I am going to use for, for the CFD analysis. Then here I have some name selections, right? This an inlet, this and a small inlet, and this is an outlet. With this geometry, initially I am going to do a, a CFD analysis, including uh, energy equation on, and after that, then I am going to transfer the thermal field from ANSYS fluent to ANSYS mechanicals to do some structural analysis. Let's see how we can obtain the data from ANSYS fluent. Well, once it's fluent, uh, we will obtain the thermal field, right? I am not going to go deeper on the process of setting up the simulation, but I already have a solution for this fluid, right? Then I have uh, some air entering here. Uh, let me check the, the boundary conditions, right? Then I have five meters per second velocity in this boundary at 750 Kelvin, right? And in this boundary, I have also air that is entering at 2.5 meters per second at 300 Kelvin, right? Then this flows we're going to mix here, and there will be like a temperature variation on the on the pipe. Then if I look here, right? If I check the, the temperature of the of the wall, then you can see that there is a variation of the temperature, right? And this is the one that we want to extract for ANSYS mechanical, right? Then, right now the case is already solved and what we want to do is to transfer this information to mechanical for doing a structural analysis, okay? Then let's see how we can do that using the ANSYS workbench. Once in workbench and with the ANSYS fluid solution already loaded here in the, in the fluid module, then what we are going to do is to take a static structure module, right? In way we are going to drag it into the main window of Wormish. Okay, then the geometry for this case will be different. It will be the solid geometry that we already saw. Then I'm going to move this to the geometry, right? And now I am going to put the solution to the setup, okay? To the setup of the static structure analysis. And I am going to open mechanical by double click here in model. Uh, we need to put first some constraints and doing the mesh then we will import the, the thermal field, okay? Then let's wait for some seconds. Well, once the, the geometry is uploaded, then we are going to create a mesh. I am not going to, to do a, a, a very sophisticated mesh, then I'm just going to change this maybe to one millimeter, maybe two millimeters, just for having like a good process here. Then I will generate the mesh, this should be fast. Right. Yeah, here we go. Okay, we have a mesh here. I am not going to change to check any any mesh quality parameter. I just want to show you how to transfer the thermal field. Then for doing that, then what I'm going to do is here in the important load, if you see this is pointing to before, and if you go back to the workbench before is the is the solution uh, uh numbering number that you have here for the solution of the CFD right? then it's pointed to before and what I'm going to do is here imported load right click insert body temperature right and for the body temperature mechanical is asking me for the body uh, which I want to, to import the the thermal field then I'm going to select this body right perfect and here in the source term, I'm going to put like a default value, right? And just click import load. And now this is importing the data from the from the fluent. Now you see 
that the temperature was already uploaded, right? This is uploaded from Fluent by interpolation from Fluent and, and, and Mechanical. And yes, after that, then for sure, then we go to solution. Maybe we can, before doing that, we can go here. Maybe, sorry, here. Maybe insert here a fixed support. Here, also support. Just to avoid the problems in the solution. And here, maybe insert some stress. This is some deformation, total deformation, maybe some stresses, right, normal shear, let me check for thermal, thermal strain here, this is the one, and we are going to solve this, fast, Then here we have the thermal stresses, right? And here we have the total deformation, right? And we can check. And with this, we have like the an easy way for transfer a thermal field from ANSI fluent to ANSI mechanical. Well, if you have any questions, remember you can always write us to support at alsanig.com and we are happy to help. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.